down. Uh, I was trying to do a sync, but okay. Uh, guys, we're back after a while because I've been having some trouble with stuff, but uh, a flying glowing cat thing? What is this sorcery? I didn't realize I was one space away, but okay. Unknown power level. All right. Um, this is a mystery. Level 32. Mystery. It has 7,785,541 HP, 54 defense, and magic defense at 600 of 8. It is completely weak to uh, dark, but we don't have a lot of dark at this point. Just going to attack? It's too fast. Attacks don't work on it. I will attack again. Um... You know, he's a sniper, maybe he can hit it. Boom, headshot. The end of your rule is nearing. Disgusting humans. Cat kind shall inherit the earth once more. Even the elephant mixed. Um. Let's still wreck you. And, uh, defend with her because we need her to survive. I don't think we're ready to fight this enemy yet. Let's just try to survive. That was the best sleep I've had in a while. Snipe. Okay. So we can actually hurt these ones. So that's good. As you and we haven't scanned them, so might as well. Well, oh, he's dead. I think I might just want to start swapping people out. move you to back up and use a healing item um, I mean it'll be enough to survive right excellent I was starving what is a weak do it's a blue crystal level 16 a crystal made from pure coldness it uses ice attacks buffs other foes and can wet players and foes we took explosions, fire, and electricity, and earth. Um, explosions, you say? Apparently that was not enough because it crits a lot. How does it feel about poison? It doesn't, which means it's dead. Airstrike. Huh. For once, it didn't actually try to kill my weak person. Oh, I never rezzed Matt. Eh, uh, whatever. Sure, it's fine. What was that glowing figure just now? We couldn't even hit it! It didn't even bother attacking us directly, as if it were just messing around with us. I think I know what that was. We better hurry south to where White Fold, where the White Fold Jewel is at. All right. And yeah, when I mentioned there was still stuff to do in this cavern, that's what I was referring to. The spoilers. I, I mean, not really spoilers anymore. So we've got some rainbow gems there, but uh, I want to see what's north of us. Oh yeah, forgot about these. Liquid ice, magma sample, and donuts. Coconut, coffee, and beef. We got the Black Widow Bow, deals dark damage, may curse targets, boost the power of dark skills, may cast dark spice with certain skills, counterattacks with normal attacks. Alright. The Chili Sauce, fills an ally's limit bar instantly. Very rare. Chips and Pineapple. Chain Link, Iron Ore, and Steel Plates. Dragon means treasure, treasure is good. 
Looks like there's still quite a few areas in this cavern that we can't reach because of all the lava. I guess we'll have to return some other day. So I missed what the what Lance was saying, but I'm sure it's fine. Probably fine. I'm gonna check around to see if there are any items that I can get here. It would not appear so. Alright. I'll go through these areas and see if there are hidden items in them later, but for now, we're in a magical wonderland. Ah, sunlight, finally! Whoa, that's too bright. I think I'm gonna get snow blindness. And to start out this momentous occasion, let's kill something. Snowman slime, happy face. No eggs, stop trying to kill everything. Scan bot. Let's see what they're weak against. The snow bush, level 14, a timid creature which uses non-elemental attacks and can lower the party's attack. It's weak to fire, wind, earth, poison, and darkness. Snow Slime, level 14, a very weak enemy that uses only standard attacks. Weak to fire, earth, poison, and darkness. Okay. Um. Yeah. Ah, so close. Uh. I don't care that much. I can take another turn to do this. Natalie gets to get that kill. Oh, so no new enemies. I guess tank guns again. And most of them are about dead. Most of them are about dead. My statement stands. Let's get everyone's limit gauge up. That way, when we eventually run into a boss, you'll hear my voice crack like it just did at the beginning of that sentence. Wow, my voice is cracking a lot today. Honeycombs, sushi, and steel plates. To be fair though, in my defense, I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. I was... The only reason why I didn't wake up like 5 minutes ago was because it took like 20 minutes to set up this recording. You just came out of the Crystal Caverns? Welcome to Whitefall then. You just grabbed something warm to eat. You look exhausted. North is the Crystal Caverns, west is Whitefall, east is Waste Disposal Plant. Alright. Oh crap, we were too slow. The jewel's already been taken! Whoever did this must be pretty fast to get here before us, considering they left Greenwood just before we did. Green-haired girl, I think it's time you told us what these stones do. Alright then, but some of this stuff may be hard to believe, even if, if it's even true. Our legends go like this. Drinking water. In the beginning, there was a single divine being. Her name was Godcat, but Godcat was lonely, so she created the heavens and the earth and all the creatures who inhabit it. She then created cats in her own image and gave them dominion over the land and over all other creatures. You're saying that a cat created the world for more cats? This sounds more insane. This sounds like some insane bedtime story. You're a crazy person. Shh, let her continue. This might be have something to do with that glowing cat we saw earlier. Anyway, God Cat created all cats, and for a thousand years, cats ruled the earth. They built great civilizations that had developed advanced technology, but they eventually became too friendly with humans. God Cat was jealous of this new alliance of cats and humans. She destroyed all the cats had built. God Cat's greatest creation was no longer worthy of her image. She took so did that. So she took away their arms and legs, and that's how they remain to this day. So that's why cats don't have legs. No legs. I'm so sorry to hear about your abusive creator. Meow. Godcat then created this world, and they say she left behind only three jewels. For generations, humans have protected the jewels and kept them apart from each other, as they feared that Godcat would return if the jewels were ever brought together again. So we have to stop the Godcat from being revived then, since she'll probably destroy the world again? Surely you guys have some ancient ruins, seen ancient rules in your travels, right? Ruins full of statues of cats. This could all be true. Oh yeah, that's right! We visited some really old ruins in the desert in the previous game. They were full of cats! I don't really know what to make all this. Uh, make what you will. Because there is a cat! And we're back to the area. 
I've been living in the wild for 20 years now and have mastered many survival skills. I can craft you a helmet suited for a Viking Berserker. How about it? If we find these items we have enough of. Here you go, may the spirit of the wild live within you. We also got ham and beef. Mia seems to like you here, but I don't. There's a bad vibe in the air. The smell of the factory is horrendous, and the local residents are all upset about the economy. Not only that, but we can't find the town's sacred jewel. Okay. I love all the snow. It reminds me of my hometown. Anyway, me and my apprentice are visiting to see the Jewel of Whitefall. We can't seem to find it, though. How strange. We well, are pretty sure it was actually stolen recently. Did you see any suspicious activity around here? Wow, stolen? That's not good. Ah, we didn't see anything, but there's been a lot of cats sneaking around lately. Maybe they're up to something. Uh, I mean, we could kick the crap out of this thing. It's the last woolly mammoth. Don't kill it, we can capture it. As if I'm already not using it, but sure. Um, I'm gonna kill you. What is this friend dog weak to? Poison and darkness? Uh, yeah. Let's see, what does he have? Does he have any dark skills? Not at this point. Maybe we can kill this friend dog, though. Not quite. Okay. Now, the woolly mammoth, level 16, the last of its species because it tastes delicious, uses earth and ice. It's weak to fire and poison. Ah, that would have been nice to know before. Heal more so that we're at full health. And... Fire, you say? Hmm, crispy. <laughs> woolly Mammoth falls on another Woolly Mammoth because Woolly Mammoth. Just keep on healing with her every turn. Body slammed by such a beast. I like how we dealt 2,000 with the war damage, but missed, so we didn't deal anything. Dang. It's fine. This isn't gonna be a hard battle unless it does that. It's been quite uncooperative. I think we should beat it up until it calms down and cries itself to sleep. I like how I open my mouth to say this isn't so bad, and it just happens. I guess I can use the limit break here. Ow. Coffee. Yes, it's coffee. I didn't think you'd stand up again so soon. Maybe you're in better shape than I thought. Rude. Um, Slime Bunny, because we're gonna need the regen. Dang, it must be resistant to stuns. Yeah, it's 80% resistant. Use more coffee. Heal some more. Let's defeat this thing before it does that again. Wait, what is... What does her thing do? Limit break. Heals all allies HP and status problems and buffs their attack. Magic attack, defense, and magic defense. Let's do it. Nyan. And now that we have a buff, even better. I don't want to hurt it. It was almost killed by its own kind. That would have been hilarious. We're still gonna eat it, right? That was the plan, right? Yeah? Guys? And just like that, it's dead. We got ham, beef, solid spikes, and fine fur.
We found the treasure, the woolly mammoth pet, honeycomb, and ham. Speaking of all these items we keep getting, let's start using them. More HP for, I guess, the tank. More attack for... Eh, I want her to have it, actually. Uh, defense for... Them. MP for... You. Accuracy... Let's keep boosting his accuracy, just in case. Make her the evasion tank. And magic defense. I mean, logically, I should keep giving it to Nat so that she can survive all magic attacks, but I also want to give it to Anna. Yeah. We're just gonna go with this. This is my current build, making Anna overpowered. It's fun. Wait. I think this is my favorite one so far. The ears must have been hard to do. Glad to hear that Anna likes that kind of thing. Um, what quests can we do right now, actually? I'm trying to even remember where quests are in this list. Um, Encyclopedia. This is where it is. Okay. Okay, we can't do any of them because we don't have silk, whatever those things are, cactus stuff, I guess, uh, or those berries. Let's take a break and explore. Whitefall Town should be just up ahead. I'm sure we'll find some information, plenty of new items in the shops. And if we're lucky, we'll find stuff that we don't have to pay for. Or, I mean, uh, I didn't mean... Stealing's wrong. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? You'll get used to it, Anna. I sure had to. I did this wrong already. All right, I'm gonna leave and come back. I think I know how to do this now. Done. Okay, we got Thor's hammer. May stun targets, boost the power of thunder skills, may cast spark air with certain skills. We got another honeycomb. And a plasma wall contains thunderbolts and can power large machines. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, we got silk and talismans from there. You looking for the hammer? I heard that someone was using it at the factory to the east. I recommend exploring the rest of the town first, though. Don't rush your visit. You might even find some useful information in the graveyard to the west. I think it said information, might have said stuff. I'm not really sure found treasure. We need a gold key to get in here, though. And that looks like a good place to remember. Oh, our supply of holy water's running low. The church would appreciate it if you could bring us some. Okay, could get some holy water at some point. I have to work 80 hours a week at the waste disposal plant just to feed myself. Shopkeepers, on the other hand, just stand around and scam players out of their cash and items. Have you seen the price of pizza these days? Completely unaffordable. I can actually relate. One time I accidentally bought some gems that I didn't need and the shop wouldn't let me return them. I just sell them back to the shop for almost nothing. We have every reason to believe the shopkeepers are actually reptilians disguised as humans. Spread the word. Okay. The way the eyes are done really makes them more lifelike. Life -like. Alright. Have you come here to join our cause? We're fighting for a fair economy. The shopkeepers control the wealth, and as only they can sell and buy items from others. It's a monopoly, and regular NPCs can't compete. Not only that, but their prices are insane. They'll buy stuff from players for really cheap, and they'll sell for four times the price. Awesome free samples, I think. We got... Uh, fried chicken. Heals an ally for 8,000 HP and 800 MP. Beef. Chips. And this guy. Darn it if this place doesn't serve the best breakfast I've ever had. Half the food in here has expired. You'll be lucky not to get food poisoning. It's a free country. They can serve whatever they want. I can eat whatever I want. Don't tell it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right. What kind of food do they have? Nothing that I care about, because none of it's you know status items. 
Oh, these guys are pretty great for eating insects and stuff. They also eat your pets. Personally, I wouldn't keep one around. We found ham, cake, and chocolate coronets. This is the item shop here in town. You can get all of these items. I'm not going to buy anything because I want to grind up as much as I can, but, you know, what you what you want to do. We got a, another copper key. We got more iron ore. And here's the rare shop, guys. You can actually buy these items in this game. The problem is that every time you buy one, for instance, if I do attack, it doubles in price. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate, but it's the way it is. Nothing's ever going to change. Right, I think I'm going to go with that for now. And I'm going to use all these now. Food blocks. Why are we covering our faces? We've got to hide our identities to protect ourselves from the new world order. Also, aliens are watching us. Sounds legit. The only way to make a living these days is either to become a shopkeeper or a player character. Players produce wealth by defeating foes, and the shopkeepers steal and hoard the wealth like the greedy slimes that they are. We are occupying this area until, the, we, until our demands are met. The only thing where you're, you're demanding is some pepper spray. I see that he doesn't agree with them. These predecessors are just making a scene and messing up the town. They're all a bunch of hippie nerds just hanging out and shouting internet memes. They all need to get jobs. Alright. What's that up here? Oh, hey, it's Ashwood. I remember this place. Wonder. Ah, whatever. Kind of unoriginal, but it's alright. Lance, my long lost love, I finally found you, Heart. What are you doing here? Don't jump between games like that. I got kicked out of school for being too friendly with the guys, so I had to move to Wh Whitefall. How have you been? You know, the usual, been shooting stuff, killing things, upsetting people. That's nice, wanna go out for... We have to go now. Goodbye. There's a graveyard out there. We're not supposed to go there, but we still do. We try to sneak into the tombs, but it seems like you need a hammer for that. One girl we knew disappeared in the graveyard. They say she became a tree, but that's absurd. That's actually quite common for people who wander in the bad area surrounding Greenwood Forest. If you're trying to scare me, it's working. Okay, um... No one has anything else to say? Yep. Scare the chicken. Something tells me this area is completely optional. What a silly thing to say. It has foes and treasures. Then it's not optional. We found the golden pentagram increases holy and weak resistance, the honeycomb, and the coffee. Okay, you can't do this until you have the hammer then. Great. Amazing to know. I just got a copper key though. Beef, dirt balls, and quake maker. Blood blade, concrete, and sushi. Well, one of them's dead. Uh, how do these guys feel about poison? They're weak to it. These guys are weak to electricity. We don't know what these guys are weak to yet, so let's kill them. These are haunted trees, an evil tree which uses poison and dark attacks, has the low evade. Weak to fire, electricity, wind, earth, and light. So, I mean, not poison, you say? I mean... Fire, you say? Huh, so I've already fought all these guys before. 
fire, you say? Great, I'm cursed. Defense magic, defense decrease our return, holy damage taken is increased by 50%. Amazing. Alright, only one left to kill. And no legs is slowly whittling it down. We got more Ogle Berries, which are the ones we needed for the quest. We have enough for that quest, and that quest, so we can head back and do those soon. Here lies the link. We might end up turning into trees ourselves if we stay around here too long. Meow. Nibbles was here, looking at the bottom. The writing on the grave is too faded to read. Son Goku lies here, his body couldn't take it. Here lies Lewis McNugget, who drowned in the pool of healing. We told him not to go in there, but he wanted his corner back. The world is square. Here, here lies Marcus Haggis, who suffered a heart attack after a severe potion overdose. One more for the road, were his last words. Here, rip, meow cat. May you finally catch that little red light in heaven. Looks like they never finished marking this one. Here lies Grandolf Ham, the master mage. Upon discovering the ultimate fire spell, he was promptly burned alive. Hey, that's ha 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 ha! Those are his last words. Alright. Wow. This area is cool and all, I will not do this yet. I'm going to wait to do this until later, instead focusing on the actual story. And I say that, but in all actuality, what I want to do is I want to do the quests and then grab the hammer and then head back to that location. I do not know where the people I need to turn the quests are. Much appreciated. You may have this in return for your help. Some sushi and shrine made address. Doubles the powers of HP and MP healing items. Randomly cast talisman seal between turns. That's cool. Thanks a bunch. Cat ears, bottled darkness, and cake. Alright, time to explore the town to the east. By the way, I'm not actually sure how to get to the last jewel. All I know is that it's in a town to the north, and that we'll need the hammer to get there. Any idea where the hammer is? Nope. I do. Man, it's cold out today. My bolt propulsion device might jam if any more snow slimes come after me. Since I'm such a nice guy, I'll tell you there's two secrets in this area. Okay, that's nice to know. There's one of them. Apparently there was a treasure chest right here, which I missed out on what was. Future Gabe, try to edit that back in. I'm assuming that's what the two secrets were. Here, got any spare batteries I could borrow for a second? I need to supercharge my rifle. Alright, uh, just kill these guys. They're all a bunch of weaklings, so... Right, these guys are actually resistant to fire. Forgot. Should have known by their color and all that, but eh, whatever. So, no new enemies here. That's what I'm warning.
That guy's dead. And that guy's dead. And that guy's dead. And let's leave her frozen. It's not like she won't get experience or anything. It's not like this is a huge amount of experience, even if she didn't. Alright, uh, new enemy type up here. Uh, before we fight, I'm gonna see what's north. Well, if any place has the hammer, it's gotta be this factory, right? What a convenient plot device! Or at least it would be if it wasn't time for next time on Epic Battle Fantasy IV. We're gonna be moving on to the factory. We are gonna fight that little snow, well, that big snow slime to the south, and then we're gonna fight that cat fortress, and just keep moving on in this area. So guys, I'll see you then.